Welcome back. It is One Wednesday. Woo! Did I do all right? You did great. Okay. This week we're going super high class for Marcy's report. Yeah, somehow she's managed to get herself on a yacht in Essex. <laughs> Marcy, how did you get past security? How do I always get in these crazy situations? <laughs> it's not like I orchestrated this for months. What? I'm here with my friend Julius from Angelini Wines as well as my friend Sarah. We've also got up here, we've got Captain Steve, who is not indulging in any drinking because obviously captains have to stay sober because we've got to have a DD. All right, so Julius, we are talking rosé all day. What makes a great rosé? Well, I think, uh, well, first of all, whatever you like is what you should be drinking. Obviously. Love that answer. But, but I think, uh, you know, when the weather starts getting nicer like it is, and this is a beautiful here we're downtown. We really Essex, lucked out. Yeah. So uh, rosés are just a great combination between having something that's got body, but a little bit lighter in style. So you can have it chilled because when it's, you know, 90 degrees out, you don't really feel like a big red. Right. I don't anyway, you want something you know. light, crisp, exactly. sometimes yeah. fruity. Yeah. Okay, so we have two to try this segment. Yeah. So we're going to, we started with the classic. So this is... Uh, from Provence. So this okay. is a classic French rosé. So it's made with Grenache, uh, Cinto, and, and um, a Syrah. So, I notice a lot of the bottles from Provence are this yes, shape. Yes, this is the traditional bottle. They all have a, a variation of this shape. But the, the wines are, you know, there's a little peach quality to it. It's just a, it's just a, it's, it's a, just a nice wine. I did have a sip of this during the teas, yeah. and I loved it already. I feel like I know it. This is it one that like I go there. back to. It, it does. It feels really. like you're in Provence. Are we in Provence? Right now? Yeah, exactly. We, we could be. We could be in uh, Marseille. It's delicious. Yeah, and it's I would call a... this a great yachting wine. Oh my God, <laughs> without a doubt. And the typical color of uh, rosés from Provence is this kind of uh, gorgeous peachy. It has a peachy. warm tone yeah, like to the, it. Almost. Some people call it uh, onion skin. Do you think oh. that's <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's that's not it. a lovely way of describing but it's it. True though, it right? Is, well, it's translucent yeah, yeah. a little bit. Of what it, onions yeah. are you eating, Julian? No, well, we eat all kinds, <laughs> right? Why? I love it. We don't discriminate here. This is delicious. Yeah, it's. Uh, what it, would you pair this with? Well, obviously, any kind of uh, any kind of seafood, uh, the lighter seafood, obviously, not something really, really heavy. Maybe not as right. as good with lobster and things like that or salmon. But I think any of the lighter, the the soles and the, the, the cods and. I things also like think that. with a lovely charcuterie board. Oh my right? God! Perfect. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but this is great for yachting. I mean, we're, this is the wine. These are the types of wines when you have when this it's is so it. nice. Oh my yes. God, it's it doesn't. We'll call like them on the water o'clock. wines, right? Yeah, I oh love it. Okay, so what else do we have okay, here? So then we're going. So we're going from France to Italy. Ooh. So this is part of the Ferragamo uh, family of wines. Okay, we've so, talked about them before. Yeah. So Salvatore uh, Ferragamo is the grandson of the person who started the fashion company. Love it. So uh, all rosés are made with, uh, because of the skin contact, they're made with red wine. And uh, so there's a little skin contact. After they crush the grapes, they stay a few hours with the skin, which it gets the colors. Okay. And so you have a lighter style, but this is Sangiovese. So this is the same wine that's used, the uh, same grape that's used to make Brunellos and Chiantis. Oh, okay. But this is it made in um, a, a white style, mm. a rosé. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, you get a little bit more of the uh, probably berries. Yes. Those kind of qualities. The a little bit of a deeper peachy. flavor. I really exactly, like that. Yeah. And it's a little bit of a deeper color as well. Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, those are, uh, yeah, I think... With rosés from some rosés from Italy, you can do a lot of different things. You can have lar you know, lighter, you can have more of a. I thought you were going to say you could have a large pour. I was like, is that uh, no. even an option, Julian? <laughs> no. Come on! All large pours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, or you can have it a little darker. In Provence, you have to stay more because it's uh, they, they have to certain uh, follow certain criteria. So okay, kind of got it. Yes, they are very. So you could have by the book there. Yeah, so you can have uh, you know more of a strawberry type of rosé. Okay. So you can have a lot, of, a lot of different styles. But this is this is a delightful, delightful one. This is also. A Organic. Fantastic. It's, uh, I'm just loving drinking this on the boat with you. And speaking of the boat, this boat's for sale, so it could be yours. I, Julius, and the wine does not come with the boat. We could be convinced, though. Sarah, tell us about this fabulous boat that we're on. So we're on a Beneteau Flyer Sun Deck 9, which is for sale by Prestige Yacht Sales in Essex here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a beautiful 28-foot boat, and it even has a, a deck that... This is my favorite part of it. You guys, on the side that you can flip down to make it easy for you to jump in the yes. water, Memorial And I love weekend. that it has the wooden paneling so you don't have to worry 
worry about slipping on there. We've got the speakers all around. You've got a little yacht rock going. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It is just stunning. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much for having us, Captain Steve. We can't wait to try a couple more wines when we come back, including one from Julius's <laughs> estate in yes, Italy. Parents, yep. Very nice. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Happy Wine Wednesday. Looks like you're having a great time, Marcy. As always. She